Did you miss me? Here I am. Okay, everybody. Summary of the patch. It sucks. Okay, that's it. Banana slam jam. Okay, welcome back everybody. We got ourselves a lovely meta update for you guys. So, so far I've been playing the patch for give or take 10 games. So this is going to be my first impressions from the games that I've played. I will say the biggest meta change, the thing that has shifted most of what you guys knew Dota to be prior, is the fact that the jungle camps are much stronger. Uh, some of the jungle camps have gr have break, some of them have disarm, some of them have damage reduction, physical damage they make you do less. So some of them make them do more damage, like the troll warlord summoners make them do all the creeps do more damage. The hellbear smashers, when they die, that makes the creeps around them do more damage. So lo and behold, they've nerfed stacking for heroes that used to struggle, or at least were on the fringe of being able to kill stacks and then they also made it so that it's very difficult to be an early right click jungler so what i've realized is that most people are prioritizing the lane a lot more because of this and i haven't seen any svens any lunas any medusas any hero that relies on early right click jungling it just doesn't make sense anymore uh the items that i've seen be the most prevalent are Orchid. We'll say Orchid, which got made 300 gold cheaper, and it's more of an all-around item um, rather than just a uh, intelligence hero item. So a lot of mids, like Monkey King I've been seeing. I've been seeing like even Quop still going it. It's just cheaper, so it comes online earlier. On top of the fact that you have an item like Diffusal that also got made about 600 gold cheaper. So these ganking aggression items are just coming out much sooner. And then on top of that, the jungle, you, you can't really sustain through it nearly as easily. And it's just more difficult to have the space to be able to jungle. So I've even seen some of the top tier carries be going for a super early fighting ganking item. I've seen BKB into Battle Fury. Um, Yatoro did that on Monkey King, I heard. I've seen Diffusal. I had a I had a Duraccio, he's rank 15, I think, carry player in Europe who went defusal on Ricky, then Manta, then Battle Fury. So people are going for these like late farming items, like second or third item farming items because the early game it's so difficult to actually jungle and these other long items come online so early. That's really been the biggest meta shift so far for me. Um, the creep heroes seem really good, Enchantress and Chen in the support role, if you guys ever want to take a patch to learn how to micro and learn how to play the zoo heroes, those seem especially strong because of their early momentum that kind of synergizes with the fact that it's difficult to jungle on a lot of right click carries. When it comes to the offlane, I have been seeing a lot of Axe, uh, I have been seeing a lot of high pressure heroes, such as like Lycan still, um, I've seen some like Night Stalkers. So I think offlane is going to be synergizing with the fact that carries are going much more aggressive. But I think you could be more of a farming offlaner for the first like 10 to 12 minutes where you're getting like a Vanguard on Axe or Centaur or Bristleback. And then you're turning that into like a mid-game timing where your carries are starting to do something like 13, 14 minutes in. So you get this like Vanguard into Blink type build and that's going to go really well with the current meta for carries. When we're talking about supports, four position, I definitely have thought Marana was going to be strong with the base damage buff and the mana buff on her Star Storm. I've been seeing a lot of four position enchantresses. I already mentioned her in the five position. I've been seeing a decent amount of heroes like Lich that got buffed in their laning phase. Visages in all roles. Uh, he got some significant buffs. So it's really these like fast paced tempo heroes can still look to jungle past like 10 minutes once they get like these early towers. That's really what we're seeing right now. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple like broken shards that I've seen so far, um, now that the shards are purchasable at 15 minutes. So the first shard I'd like to give a shout out to being absolutely broken uh, is the SF shard. It now makes his right click crit fear for half a second. And there's a catch. As of now, it goes through BKB, as this invoker was BKB TPing. So it TP, it, so it canceled a BKB TP. 
So this is a 0.5 second fear that interferes with BGibby. So this could cancel like BKB Black Hole. Something that may be patched, but keep an eye out for that shard. Pretty nutty. Um, I've seen people attempt to carry Tiny because of the shard coming out at 15 minutes, but I feel like the changes to the hero overall make him less of a carry, so I'm not as big a fan of that. Um, shards, I've seen PL, CK. Um, these like farming accelerating shards are really beneficial um, in the 15 minute mark. Coming out earlier, I've seen Necrophoses go for, like, a pretty early shard. Uh, that also speeds up his farm. The shards that you want to keep in mind are the ones that make these heroes farm more at, like, 15 minutes. They can have this farm accelerator or heroes that hit, like, some ridiculous timing with the shard, such as Batrider, whose shard has been broken because it gives Napalm on his right clicks. Uh, it worked with Manta for the first day, but it no longer works with Manta. But I've been seeing, like, Midas, BKB, Mask of Madness, Batriders. So there's been some really funny builds that you may want to try with that. Uh, but for now, the biggest updates is that aggression, high-tempo items and heroes, get rid of the AFK junglers, are on the table. And if you're going to go for a farming item, look to do it on the second or third item. I also want to give a shout out if you are going to pick a farming hero, I am leaning towards Anti-Mage, and that is because with the buff to his mana burn slowing people, I have had my offlaners losing to mana burning Anti-Mages every game I've played so far. I believe Anti-Mage is like 3-0 and in my games, and he always wins his lane, and even though Anti-Mage is more of a farmer, and he does still build Battle Fury from what I've seen so far... This buff to his mana slow makes it, it makes his kill threat in lane just so high, and so far it's been quite treacherous for the people I've been watching in the off lane against it. So this is my first meta update for 7.31. I'll keep you guys posted on more content, more information um, as I see cool builds, cool heroes, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna go to bed.